In this video, I share a nearly perfect day on horseback. Thanks again to Weaver Leather for sponsoring this episode of the Trail to the World Show. I think I might be suffering from a case of PPL, which a friend of mine came up with, and it stands for Post Project Letdown. After Willow and I reached our goal of achieving our bronze medal in traditional dressage, I think I've been somewhat in shock. This also happens to perfectly coincide with my midsummer evaluation point that I already had planned at the beginning of the year. I decided I'd go ahead and on this day, take Gabby to one last show so I could test the other option that I didn't choose the last time I showed her in ranch riding. If you remember last time, I couldn't decide if I should show two-handed and do simple lead changes or one-handed and do a flying lead change. This time I decided at home that I was at least ready to do one-handed and flying lead changes at home, but the real test was going to be, would it still work at the show? When I show my horses, I judge my success on two different levels. Three, five, seven should be making their way to the gate. My number one measure of success is, can I recreate what I have at home in the show pen? If I can create exactly what I have at home, exactly in the show pen, then that is one level of success. Then after that, I can measure how my ride stacks up against other competitors. The interesting thing about horse shows is that many of the best moments are outside of the arena. Often for me, those are visiting with new friends and sharing things like, oh, you missed a lead? Me too. <laughs> As you can see in this video, Gabby was pretty similar to the way that she was at home. I was really happy with how she showed up in the show pen, but again, I was reminded of her lack of experience and the fact that although she does not seem uptight or nervous, I can feel the tension and the questions that she has when I'm at the show. So today I verified that what I suspected was true. Although she can do one-handed flying lead changes at home, they're not quite as solid and confirmed as I would like to take to the show pen. I would still call the show a success because so much of what I achieved in the pen was like what I have at home. And realistically, Gabby just needs a lot more experience hauling to shows and riding around so that she can become more comfortable when we're in the show pen. On this day, I loaded up Gabby, headed home, and when I arrived home, saddled up Willow and headed to the trail. I've decided to not enter Pony Cup this year and to go into a bit of a rest season with Willow. I'll still ride her and I'll still take her out and exercise her on the trail and I'll practice in the arena. Even when I'm out on the trail, I'm still practicing control and communication I can do things like walk half turn on the haunches and lead changes, and I can practice putting her feet exactly where I want them as we go through mud and other obstacles on the trail. Part of making this video series and documenting Willow and Gabby's trail to the world show is to show that the horses can be very versatile. It's important to me that my horses are able to be comfortable in both the show pen, the arena at home, and the trail rides. And they're only gonna get that if I keep exposing them. I've decided I'm going to take a little break from showing for at least a month with both horses. This will give me a chance to reevaluate where I'm at during the middle of this summer and make a targeted plan for how I'm going to end the summer and get these horses from where they are now to the World Show in October. 
As I was riding home on the trail, I answered a phone call from a friend who said, did you just show this morning and then hit the trail in the afternoon? And I answered, yes, yes I did. I'd call that a near perfect day for me. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next episode. Normal ride. I have all this strapped to me because that's what people normally do when they go trail riding alone. If you're survivor man anyway, or I guess in this case, survivor woman. What are you? Ten minutes later, we've got you at least outside of the barn. Keep going. I don't know what you are, but you don't live in a stall. Keep going. You're so tame. Close. Keep going. There you go.